If you've made it to this video, then you're already aware of cryptocurrencies. You're either thinking about buying some or you've just bought, but now you need to keep them safe in the best way for you. That's where cryptocurrency wallets come in. Well, in this video, I'll talk you through the four main types of wallets that you can store your crypto in. If you're new to cryptocurrencies, it can be confusing, but there are four main solutions for storing your crypto. On an exchange, on a wallet on your computer, on a paper wallet, and also on a hardware wallet. Well, this video will explain the pros and the cons of each, plus how cryptocurrency wallets really work. So keep watching. So first, let's cover the clear definition of a cryptocurrency wallet. Cryptocurrency wallets are physical devices or software used to access, receive, or spend cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and others interacting on the blockchain. A cryptocurrency wallet is not a physical item like the wallet in your back pocket, but more like a safety deposit box or a vault. To access your assets and to withdraw them, you need a dedicated key, or in other words, a password. You have to think of a wallet address like a bank account number. In the world of cryptocurrencies, if someone wants to transfer you coins, you simply give them your wallet address. No two wallet addresses are the same. And before we go any further throughout the video, you'll hear me use the term cryptocurrency key. A public key is not the same as a public wallet address. Every wallet address will have a private and also a public key. The private key allows you to access the funds related to your wallet address. Think of this as a password to the wallet. We'll cover this in more in depth in future Academy videos. So now we've covered the fact that wallets are essential tools for storing, accessing, and also sending and receiving crypto. Now let's get into some more detail. A wallet is more like a storage vault for your address, including your public and your private keys. This vault is actually needed to gain access to your blockchain, which actually contains your cryptocurrency holdings like Bitcoin. Did you know that most people who actually own cryptocurrencies use several different wallets? This is in order to ensure maximum security in storing their cryptocurrencies in different ways. The wallets can be broadly divided into the following categories, hot and cold wallets. Now, this is important. Losing your keys to your wallet is something you should avoid at all costs. This sounds like a really obvious point, but the repercussions are much more severe than if you lose your house keys or your car keys. If you use your cryptocurrency wallet keys, you're no longer able to access your own storage box. If your keys are stolen, someone else will have access to your phones. For this reason, be very careful and take all necessary safety measures when handling your wallet and also your keys. So as a cryptocurrency trader, hodler, or also an investor, it's important that you, the user, choose the type of wallet that works for you. So let me run through the different cryptocurrency wallets that are available to you. So first up, we have hot wallets. Hot wallets are probably the most basic and also the easiest option when it comes to storing your cryptocurrencies. And that's on the platform or the exchange through which you bought them and you just keep them there. Hot wallets are cryptocurrency wallets that are actively connected to the internet. So while it's easy to transact using these wallets, they are very vulnerable to hacks. Exchange wallets, mobile wallets, and desktop wallets are all examples of hot wallets. Once you purchase your crypto, it's automatically stored on a hot wallet, but it's recommended to actually only keep a very small percentage of your funds on an exchange and store a vast majority of your funds in a cold store wallet, which we'll get to a little bit later. So a lot of new users actually tend to store their cryptocurrencies on hot wallets as it's the most basic way to get started. Although then you're relying on the security of that exchange, not yourself to keep your phones safe. Next up, we have a software wallet. A software wallet means storing your funds on your computer, your desktop, or your mobile device. The benefits to this is that you have immediate access to your crypto and complete control over your private keys. This solution creates a single wallet file where private keys are stored. So for added security, this file is also encrypted, which means that a customized fast pass phase can be used to access it. So you can actually choose between two types of software wallets. Either you can choose to get a separate one for each cryptocurrency you own, or use software wallets that can store multiple cryptocurrencies. Now this one comes with some added benefits, but also some added risks. There's the additional risk that you come to lose your computer or your mobile device, and your phones are hot when your computer or your mobile device is connected to the internet. So public Wi-Fi isn't recommended. 
but it is a popular option. It's easy to set up and it's good security. So next up, this one may come as a surprise to you with all the talk of software, codes and digital ledgers and cryptography, paper wallets are still actually a viable option. A paper wallet is a great example of a cold wallet. A cold wallet is a crypto wallet that's not connected to the internet in any way, hence safe from hack attempts. The idea is that if you want to store your cryptocurrency away and hold on to your cryptocurrency safely, normally for quite a long period of time, then you can use a cold wallet to keep them safe. And as your keys aren't connected to any servers, you just need to print your private and your public keys on one piece of paper. Now there are websites that let you generate a public address and a corresponding private key within minutes. So when you need to transfer the funds, you just need to enter the keys you have on your piece of paper. But it's very important that you keep these safe. And finally, we have hardware wallets. Now hardware wallets combine the safety of a cold wallet along with the ease of transaction of a hot wallet. They're kept offline so they can't be hacked. And even if a hacker gains hold of your computer, they won't be able to steal your private keys and access your assets with a hardware wallet. Your private keys are stored on a cryptographically secured hardware device. Because the keys are stored directly on the device, it actually can't be read in plain text it's almost impossible for people to identify them, even if your computer is infected by a virus. So if this of you is your choice of wallet, please make sure that the hardware wallets have not been compromised in any way before you buy them. You should never purchase used hardware wallets and always buy them directly from trusted manufacturers. Well, that brings us to the end of today's video. Please remember to do your research to make sure you find the most suitable option for you and always take the necessary precautions to keep your cryptocurrencies as safe as possible. But if you found this video useful, be sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any more content like this.